。又来晚，欢迎大家又回到开心梦想家的频道，这是你的梦想特派员，当你好不好？恭喜恭喜恭喜你呀！恭喜恭喜恭喜你！没错，各位又到了一年一度的春节时间啦，好不好？没错，又是新的一年。那么我相信大家对于去年的新年影片应该是丝毫的不陌生吧？就是我们与两位梦想家的球员一起度过了新年。那么今年呢，我们同样又再度欢迎到两位大家熟悉的梦想球员，跟我们一起共度我们的春节时光。Let's w e l c o m e B G and Kenny. Yeah. Welcome, guys. You guys still remember what we did last year? <laughs> we pretty much wrote the um the red couplets, and then we played the dicing game.、Mm -hmm. But this year, we're gonna do something different. Okay, so do you guys play the dicing game like after the shoot? Yeah, we played at my house. You guys, you guys like it? Yeah, we 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 lost. <laughs> Who won?、Uh, JB. JB won. JB won.、Yeah. JB is good. JB is good. <laughs> But this year we're gonna do a little bit something special. This year we're gonna do pretty much most of the family would do during the Lunar New Year in Taiwan. We're gonna make dumplings. Okay. okay. Have you guys tried eating or making any dumplings before? I eat them all the time, like twice a week. Twice a week?、Uh, That's even more than me. <laughs> <laughs> like I eat them all the time. Okay. I've tried to make it with like my grandpa before when I was younger. Uh huh. And then actually last Chinese New Year, I went up to Asha's family farm. Okay. And we we made dumplings last year for Chinese New Year. Yeah. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. Did you introduce the dumplings to them? To Brandon? Yeah, to Brandon. I think he knows the dumplings. Are. Yeah. Yeah, he's got them. I don't know how to make them, but but you you tasted it before. All right, but today we're gonna taste the dumplings that we're gonna make our own. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's move to the kitchen. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we are at the kitchen right now. But me personally, I don't have much experience for making dumplings. So Kenny told us you had like one time. Yeah, just one. What about Brendan? No, no, no. So we are considered as the rookie for making dumplings, but no worries, guys. Today we are gonna have a dumpling master, aka the veteran, gonna teach us how to master the skill. Let's walk on the dumpling master, Jeff Wu. Yeah. Uh, my dad never taught me how to make dumplings, but we can still try it. With your hands. Let's go. <sighs> All right. All right, we have Jeff Wu as our master today. Do you guys know why? Because family. Because family. Yeah, exactly. Because Jeff's family <laughs> owns a dumpling business for a very long time.、Right? I just down below. Please, do everybody go. <laughs> okay, everybody gotta go. Everybody go after watching this video. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this: Do you guys know why are we eating dumpling for、um, Lunar New Year? All right, because the shape of the dumpling actually looks like the ancient、uh, currency that they used before. So it pretty much. Means fortune. If you have dumplings during the Lunar New Year, it brings fortune to your house, and then it will prevent you for being illness, and it will prevent you for being poor, and then basically like brings you fortune, brings you love, everything like that. There was a tradition that they used to put a dollar coin into the dumplings. That means、uh, beginning for the New Year, if you actually have the dollar, you ate the dollar for the dumpling. That you have a good luck, you will start your year fresh. But we don't do that anymore because people usually constantly swallow <laughs> the coin <laughs> or they broke the teeth. So we don't want none of that happen. So we will have the peanuts instead. Today Jeff is going to teach us how to do the dumplings, and then we will put peanut instead of the coin into the dumplings. All right, let's、okay. go. Let's do it. Cool. Let's go, Master Jeff. Hold on. Hold on. All right, grab this.、Uh, So scrape a little bit of stuff in.、Oh, we have like four flavors today. What flavor is that, Jeff? That's a、uh, cabbage and pork. Yeah. So we have the cabbage and pork, and this is the, the garlic chives. Chives. Curry. Kimchi. kimchi spicy. Yup. Spicy. And both of the skins、uh, work for everything. Just grab whatever you guys feel like. Please go on, Master、oh, Jeff. Okay. Okay. okay just like that. You just. Uh, maybe, maybe a little more. A little bit more. <laughs> it is really simple. It looks really simple.、Okay. All right, so we can just grab the skin and then make our own thigh. Show it. Let's do it. Go, go, go. I put too much stuff in. I told you. Yeah, the stuff is coming. That's how. You, that's how you taught her. Wait, my stuff is coming out too. This doesn't look my, as simple my, my as I thought. My mom is mad at me. Everyone watching this. Sorry, kimchi came out. <laughs> Kenny, how, how many seasons have you seen Dreamers already? I think it's my six. Oh, your six? Because the first season I came 
and there was like eight to ten games left, so I wasn't really part of the whole season. Let's say, um, so you probably spent like what five I five years five. for Lunar New Year in Taiwan, pretty much, right? To do this. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Does your family has any like traditions? Like you gotta go somewhere or eat something, something like that? Asha and I just try and go somewhere lately. Like we just try and go see different cities. One year we went to see her family and. Uh, Tainan. Oh, okay. And then last year we went to her family farm, so that was pretty cool. But before that, usually for Chinese New Year, I just know it was like, okay, dinner with the family. Right, right, right. And then my family taught me about the red envelope, so I always like Chinese New Year because it always came with red envelopes. Do you guys usually cook or dine out? Depends. Yeah, it depends. Really depends. depends. Doing Chinese New Year in America than doing Chinese New Year here. In America, it's like uh, I would kind of just do what my family did, right. but then over here, I've been kind of just going with whatever we feel like true, that year. True, true. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, don't forget to put penis in your dumplings. Bro, why are you making a ravioli? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much stuff. <laughs> What about you, Brendan? This is your second year for the Dreamers. So since last year, like, have you do you have any plans for this year's Chinese year? No, oh, man, not really. Just uh, gonna use the break to spend time with teammates. Okay. You know, okay. Kind of experience the holiday, but then also it's a good time to keep training and keep working on as well. Oh, okay, okay. Because if you play in other country, Chinese year, it's not really a holiday, right? It's really still doing the in-season thing. So for you personally, like, what about you and your family? What holidays do you guys cherish the most? Like, you guys will definitely spend the holiday together. I would say probably Christmas. Christmas? Yeah, Christmas and Easter, Thanksgiving. We don't have any unique holidays. For two straight seasons, you or in Taiwan for doing the Christmas and Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. How do you spend with family? Do you like call them or FaceTime them? Yeah, you try to call them and FaceTime them. It's hard because it's a 12 hour difference. So true, you're, true. You're, uh, you're going to bed, they're waking up. But, oh yeah, oh yeah. You, know, it's, you make it work. It's important to do it. Right, so you make sure like you send a message to them. Uh, you're in Taiwan, but still you're like, you're with them. Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. Oh man, look at Brendan. <laughs> Way too much stuffing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> taco now. <laughs> So Kenny, do you like receive red envelope or do you give out red envelope? I think I'm at that age that I should be giving more now. Exactly, I feel you. But it's hard not to want to receive. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I think it, yeah, it just really depends on the circumstance of like who I'm going to see, right? Oh, yeah, true, true. Like Brendan, did you receive any red envelope? Yeah, I did. I was. We had a team dinner. We were lucky enough to get a little red envelope. Uh huh. Bonus. Very thankful for that. It's fun to experience that. Right. But uh, I mean, I have given some out, but so probably. You might like next year or something to your nephew or something like that. Right. You were teaching the tradition. Yeah. Well, yeah, I actually I did because we had some leftover on uh, dreamer envelopes, so I took those back to the states and I kind of showed them. You got what, a red envelope one? Yeah, what a red envelope was with the tradition is. So that was fun. I remember before you left the team last year. I think it was like last video or something. Yeah. Like you left all your like change and everything to your teammates, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was appropriate. I don't know. I hope uh, I didn't offend anybody. By it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you didn't. That was really thoughtful though, to be honest. I think I gave it to Sunway, so hopefully Sunway oh. used it for his wedding. He definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you Help him. Red blue, oh, when you went to this wedding, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Red blue. Red blue. Oh, oh, you did? That's really sweet. That's a rule, it's not very sweet. Yeah, we wanted to. Oh, oh yeah, we wanted to. We wanted to. Oh, <laughs> 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 That's okay? My parents will come with all this leftovers just to your dinner. If you want to get so bulky like Jeff, you should have dumplings. That's why I eat them twice a week. <laughs> True. How many can you eat at one time? Twenty-five. Like if I'm really hungry, I, I could probably eat like thirty-five. Thirty-five? I could probably really have more if I wanted to, but like thirty-five yeah. would be like a good, like a good amount. Like, like not. I was super hungry. Full. I was but, hungry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't help that dumplings are so cheap either. Cause when I'm hungry, I'm just like, eh, two hundred and tea, forty dumplings. They're perfect. All I need is water after that. <laughs> I'm a fan of pasta, but not ravioli. Why? 
I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Just a flat dump. Whoa. Careful, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your mouth around the dumpling man. <laughs> respect. My parents do this for me. I'll say this. I would never eat ravioli with soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Since you guys stay so long in Taiwan, like what's your favorite Taiwanese cuisine? Oh, actually, I, I really like Zongzi. And I like Shalongbao and I like Kongrofen. Did you ever try ETF? Is that Zongzi? Yeah. I only like their Shalongbao, really. Like, I don't know. Really their fried rice is pretty fire, too. The best fried rice is always from like those IEs down the road. And then they sell it for like 15 NT. <laughs> what about you, Brenda? Yeah, well, I think the um, Shalongbao. Shalongbao? Yeah, that's really good. So basically, Shalongbao and Dumbling and Pasir, they are like cousins. You just like different I skin. Did I disgrace something again? Sorry. Make shall ball. You said make shall ball. Okay, okay. Oh, Hong Kong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like a pumpkin. Like. <laughs> Mama would be so mad at me. I did. Brendan, you gotta make one, man. We make our own shall ball. Our own version. Okay, Brendan, you got some skill. You got some talent? Really flat, really flat. Put that in Kenny's spot. What? <laughs> Let's go! We did it! Congrats, dude. <laughs> How are your dumplings look? Alright, after <laughs> We did it. This is all us, man. Yeah, all now us. is the time to try it. Alright, so here's the sauce. If this is what I like. You can just go like pure soy sauce, and you have yeah. garlic, red chilies, and green onions, and you can mix it up. What happened? <laughs> no! Hey. One side yellow, and one side white. <laughs> Have you guys had hot pot before? Hot pot? Yeah. Same, so usually same, same sauce. sauce. These four are the four undefeated sauce for hot pot for everything. If you need more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just grab it from there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> alright, alright, so we're still ready and then we each have 10 dumplings in front of us. So let's see who can get the most peanuts. We'll win the red envelope. Alright, let's go. Try your own dumpling. <laughs> that was mine. It has a peanut in it for sure. I got it. I got the curry and the penis. You got one too? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got one. Oh, hey! Oh, I, I, oh. Oh. <laughs> I got one. That's two. Hey. I got a peanut. I got one with the old peanuts in it. <laughs> That's only Yo. Yeah. Hey, out of the 120, you got the most special one. That one has no <laughs> stuffing, no <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> For the Lunar New Year, usually we have like, you know, New Year, New Resolution, that kind of thing. Do you guys set like any goals or try to accomplish this season? I think our goal is just to win. That's the goal for the whole team? Yeah. But personally, like, nothing special, you just try to do your best. Jeff? Hopefully oh, my roommate can do both things. Oh! Okay, Chen. Yeah. But I didn't send him in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Usually during the Lunar New Year, me and Chef, when we study abroad, we usually were- Got one! Oh, got one! We were usually away from home. Uh, that's the time we miss home the most. What about for you guys, like, during the season? What's the moment that you guys miss home? Probably during the holidays. Yeah, I guess it would have to be Christmas. Do you guys have any, like, special plans for Christmas in Taiwan? I got one. Okay, okay. I oh, don't know, I haven't really done, besides get like gifts for people that are close to me, like, okay. I haven't really done much in Taiwan, like, for Christmas. Although we decorated a Christmas tree this year. How was that like? That was cool. That was our first time doing it together, so. But do you guys feel the same, you know, in Taiwan, the Christmas vibe is the same back home? No. No, not really. Christmas in America is like... Whole vibe? What do you say, like theatric? It's like a whole, like, scene. <laughs> right, 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 right. But in Taiwan, only like certain parts. In America, like everywhere. It doesn't matter if you go to like convenience store or the mall or whatever. Uh -huh. it's, like, everything's Christmas. It's like for the whole month, too. It's like that for the whole mm -hmm. month. Oh, man. You gotta have that. Kitty's on fire, man. Save this for the last. So, <laughs> mine, mine is last too. Let me see. Listen to me crunch. Okay. I really got six. That's crazy. Man. I only have one. And it must be my dumplings. I have forgotten the book. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor among like these four? <laughs> Can you keep eating? That means good fortune for you this year, man. I hope so. Definitely will, man. Definitely will. I got one. <laughs> oh, nice! Nice! Hey. I don't know, I, I could eat any of them. I love dumplings, man. I like pork and corn. Oh, pork and corn is pretty good. What about you? Whatever this one is, pretty that's good. Pork and corn. Yeah, I'd say that's probably my favorite. We finished all 10, and let's count how many peanuts we had. I had two out of 10. 
So the red envelope had to go to Kenny. Hey. You can pick either the scratch or the red envelope. The biggest price is a mil. Waka. This is 200, this is 200. I want this one. Alright. Oh, there's a QR code just standing in Steve. I picked it because I wanted to have fun. Alright, my numbers are 12, 10, 29. I, I got it. I got it. I know. Alright. Oh. Oh. No, I got nothing. You got nothing? Let me see what you do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys feel like making your own dumplings for Lunar New Year? It's awesome, man. Yeah. It was fun experience. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. It actually tasted good. Yeah, it tasted pretty good, actually. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for tuning in and huge shout out to Kenny, Brenda, and Jeff for in this episode. If you like this video, please leave a comment and then leave a comment. And I hope you like more things. And the most important thing is to subscribe to the Taishin Dream Team channel. 那最后，让我们祝各位兔年行大运。比基达 ，six six， 哎哎哎，比基达 ，four， 七八啦 ，seven seven 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 seven， 哎 ，Kenny， 比基比基，比基达 ，oh five five， I'm seven， you're eight right？ no， no you're six， yes， six。Six or seven? Twelve. I forgot.